Look, I know I'm a little late on this one. I just, I didn't really feel like it was necessary to report on it right away. And honestly, it was pretty disappointing. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to wait a few days and then I'll talk about it. And the first thing I want to do is apologize because if you've been following this channel, you know how much I've been hyping up Saints Row 5, Saints Row 5, and talking about how not only I was excited for a possible reveal at E3 here in June, but how I was almost expecting it, pretty much. And by doing that, I'm sure I hyped a lot of you guys up and maybe misled you guys to thinking that it was going to be revealed here at E3. So I'm sorry for that, uh, because it looks like our hopes... Are getting crushed for it getting revealed here at E3. Now, I mean, yeah, I, I honestly I feel like an idiot right now, and, and a lot of you guys warned me about it. You were like, "Don't get your hopes too high, don't expect it or anything. Expectations low," and I know I should have done that, but uh, dude, I mean, I've been waiting for this thing for so long. Like I know you guys have. I just I couldn't help myself. I was ready to see this thing, and I honestly thought it was time because. It honestly, the stars were aligned here. It really seemed like it was the perfect time for this thing to be revealed. But we got confirmation from Deep Silver that no, we're not going to get anything. Unless it's a ruse, which I highly doubt. I don't think it's going to happen. Here's exactly what they said. Our parrot company, Code Media, is making an announcement as part of Summer Games Fest on June 11th. To give you a heads up, you won't see Dead Island, Saints Row, Metro, or Time Splitters there or at any other E3 2021 event. We'll let you know when we have news to share. So yeah, that basically eliminates, like I'm not even gonna watch it now, <laughs> to be honest with you, this the stream. I mean, I was looking so forward to this. I've had it on the calendar, all ready to go. I could not wait for this game stream on June 11th from Coke Media, but now I'm, I'm not even gonna watch it, man. I'm dead serious. And uh, again, honestly, I'm pretty shocked, to be honest with you, because I really thought this was it, especially, like, I already had a feeling like, okay, E3, it's time here, let's go. But when they announced that the parent company was doing their very own stream right before E3, it really felt like they wanted to get the jump uh, on all the announcements. Before all the huge announcements from, from Bethesda and everything like that, it felt like Coke Media wanted to come out and say, okay, here's Saints Row, boom, before everybody else, here you go. But I don't know. I, I, that's why I'm honestly, again, I'm in shock and... Uh, I'm really surprised. I really thought this was it, guys. And again, I'm sorry for hyping you up. I just, I can't help it. And you know, like when I'm super excited about this type of thing, the first thing I want to do is share it with you guys. But uh, I'm realizing now that, that that was pretty stupid because not only did I get my hopes up to get them kind of dashed, I also maybe got some of your guys' hopes up as well. And I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm just thinking now, like, that was my number one for E3 or Summer Games Fest. Like, what other games here are there to get hyped up for E3 as far as open world games go? I mean, if you guys have any in your head, let me know because I still want something to get hyped up for for E3 2021. I hope it's not a complete flop because this is not a great start. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, for Saints Row 5, I guess now, dude, I mean, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, Gamescom, I guess, but last year, nothing, right? And it's weird because we know that we were supposed to get a reveal of some kind in 2020. And now we're pretty much halfway through 2021 and we still haven't gotten anything. And I know the virus, again, is a huge part of, of why that is. But I, I just thought that like if they did internally delay the reveal from 2020, I thought we would be seeing it by now. So it's just it's honestly perplexing to me that we haven't yet. And of course, again, if it's not Gamescom here, we know that then it's almost 100% guaranteed they're going to drop it some random day. I, I still do believe it's going to be 2021. But again, don't listen to me because clearly I'm wearing the dunce hat here, the idiot hat. I have no idea. But uh, I mean, I still believe in my gut that we're going to get something before this year's over but uh i mean i'm still gonna make videos about it because like this is almost the lifeblood of my channel right now and i love it i still love talking about saints row 5 so i'll still talk about a bunch of stuff like the gangs and the map and things like that um but as far as the reveal goes it could be any time man i mean who knows but I really just hope it happens sooner than later. And I know I'm not in the, I'm not alone in this boat here right now. So many people are getting fed up and honestly, like really, really waiting for it as much, if not more, 
is than me so i mean i don't know hopefully sometime here soon and uh yeah that's all i really gotta say for this one i'm sorry truly